Pass the ball game. Participants stand in a circle. One person pretends to hold a large ball in their hand. Then they pass it to someone else with great eye contact across the circle. That person then needs to pretend to catch the ball and then pass it to someone else. That person then catches it and passes it to someone else, etc. After a minute or two, have students do the same thing. However, when they pass the ball, they're also going to make a high-pitched woo-woo sound when they pass the ball. Uh, it's a funny sound that people get giggles from, and it's kind of fun to do. <laughs> now, what's really important in this stage is to tell them to also make the boo-woo sound when they receive the ball from someone else. So they say boo-woo when they catch and boo-woo when they pass. It's easy for people to forget to do it when they receive the ball. So you might need to remind them a few times. Just like it's easy for people to forget to listen to others, it's important for them to practice receiving and acknowledging that they received something from another person through these games. Now, after another minute, tell students to make whatever sound that comes to them, as long as it's appropriate, school appropriate, of course. So when, when they pass the ball. However, again, here also, they need to remember to receive the sound that is thrown at them first by mimicking that sound. So if I were to throw something like meh at someone, that kid then needs to do meh and then make their own sound like a vroom. Great. Yeet. 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 Now you can debrief this game by asking students or participants what they noticed about the group this time. People will most likely share that they're seeing people laugh and be silly. That they're seeing each other's creative side more. Remember to give participants enough time to share here. You can even tell the group that when people are elicited with positive emotions, they become more creative and are more willing to learn more things.